A well-known fast food chain has held a fundraiser to support one local family. KCCI's Ethan Humble learned the powerful story of one child battling a tough diagnosis. The Winterset McDonald's had a special celebration Saturday. Thank you so much for choosing a family was gathered around the balloon filled tables, but it wasn't for a birthday. Weston Barkas came to order his favorite meal. My usual bacon cheese red berry. While he took a break from his favorite subject in school. We have been learning how to multiply fractions by fractions. But as his mother Becky says, 10 year old Weston is really here because the store is holding a fundraiser for him. He just came to us one day and said he couldn't see out of his left eye. Back in November, he had a detached retina in his eye and needed his first appointment at the clinic in Iowa City. The family then learned it was caused by a tumor half the size of Weston's eye. However, after seeing his dad Tyler's battle through various treatments with a rare genetic mutation, the decision to get the eye removed was an easy one. And knowing all that he went through with all of that, we weren't going to put Weston through that. And since then, he's been visiting a few times each month, working to get his custom-made prosthetic eye. That's why when the Barkas family's neighbor reached out to the local McDonald's store to put on a fundraiser, the chain knew it wanted to help. 15% of all store profits during Saturday's lunch hours go directly to the family to help with medical expenses. This is our first uh, fundraising, fundraising event. So, uh, yeah, I'm truly uh, excited and, and honored to be able to have this. And the family is equally grateful to be getting some financial help. We are overwhelmed, amazed, just we can't believe all the support that we've received. Because just like Weston says, it's not worth worrying about. Sometimes I kind of just think about what's happened and I say it's okay. In Winterset, Ethan Humble, KCCI 8 News, Iowa's news leader. The event raised a total of over $1,100. You can also donate to the Barkas family using either Venmo or GoFundMe. Those links can be found on the web version of this story on KCCI.com.